Just one week before the start of 24 hours of Daytona, the Chip Ganassi racing the car still didn't have the final version of the intake manifold. And they were still testing the shapes and geometry for the perfect uh, balance under the extreme loads. Together with the four performance engineers, they took the risk and made the 3D version of the intake manifold in just six days to save time. They made the reinforced uh, carbon fiber inserts, um, tested it on the prototype and left to the actual car for 24 hours run. In 2015, they won this Daytona with the rapidly prototyped 3D prints it's a part under the hood. First victories in this classic sports car enduro for his teammates Tony Kanaan, Jamie McMurray who has his own special place in the history books now and Kyle Larson. What an amazing story. The story, it's not about luck. It's about the precision engineering, uh, smart choices, and the power of technology. Today, the 3D printing is not something extra. It's the standard across the motorsport, and we're not an exception. So now we build the components for the Pro Drift race cars. Make sure to be subscribed, and we'll show you how we use the 3D printing in our Pro cars. Fresh. We're living in the incredible time, in time when you can come up with the part, design it in 3D, and just in a few hours later hold the ready-to-use prototype uh, instead of waiting the contractor to produce it. So for us, uh, like for people who are constantly work with the custom part, it uh, really gives us more freedom to test our engineering ideas, uh, and it makes without um, any extra budget. But of course, it's only stay within the budget if you're working with the proper equipment. So uh, not for those uh, toy printers, uh, that you're making for pleasure. So uh, let's take a look at our cars and show uh, 3D printing actually uh, how it changes the engineering process and how it matters for the printer to use it for the production. Oh, and make it stick till the end because uh, I'll explain you how to reduce the risk of cracks and bending with the thin or complex part uh, literally to zero. Now, at our flagship Pro Z, uh, we have at least 15 um, parts that we made with a 3D printer. Uh, could we buy them? Some of them, yes, but it means a lot of compromises. When we're choosing the printer, we have the couple of criteria. And it's great that it perfectly matches the Epitome JL printer that we're using right now. First, it's the exact aesthetic we wanted, uh, so without uh, any mass production compromises. We already have the bunch of uh, custom parts that we need to tie together, and uh, we just create the specific elements uh, for the connection, and uh, it will work with the more complex design. Second, it's the flexibility between the print quality and speed. So our printer allows us to adjust the precision uh, depending on our purpose. For example, for uh, functional parts, we can use 0.1 millimeter and we uh, just wouldn't see the layer uh, lines. But for prototypes uh, that we're testing, uh, 0.3 is enough, so this way we'll cut the production time by a couple of hours. And uh, this way we'll save the time, especially when we're working with the complex structure and we need to uh, test it quickly. In my hand, I had the uh, great example, uh, ideal one, I would say, uh, how the 3D printing makes you more freedom and opportunity to test your engineering ideas and solutions. So, for instance, if you're working with the uh, wheelwood setup and the vice hub suspension, you'll quickly realize that they don't fit each other on 100% and you need some kind of adapter. And if you uh, make it and mill exactly from the solid metal, uh, in case of adjustment or any reinforcement, any extra work, and in case of mistake, uh, you'll just waste money on making the other version. But we just made it the smarter way. Uh, we made the whole uh, scan of uh, this setup, uh, then we made the 3D version on our laptop, uh, produce this 3D one, uh, check if it works, and with the exact and proper and precise state of work, come to the uh, CNC milling production workshop and after it, they milled the final version of it and it precisely 
board. So uh, as you see, it's the uh, solid metal one and uh, it repeats the uh, form of uh, this test. So in this case, you see it's the intermediate level, it's not the final version, but it saved us more resources, time and money. We've talked about uh, prototypes and uh, it is important for the medium step, intermediate one. But what about the final part? Uh, the third reason that we work with the 3D printer, it's the material performance. I mean, uh, we're not making decorative pieces. This, uh, this is actually like the car parts and it's crucial to handle it for the uh, heavy loads and the high temperature. Uh, so in this case, we have to use the composite plastic uh, for instance, for our intake pipe, uh, the temperature can reach even 100 uh, degrees and the material still keeps the shape perfectly. Here, the 3D production was uh, actually the only available option because we didn't have enough choice for this exact component. It is the uh, intake pipe and, uh, as you see, we're working with the uh, Nissan Z platform and S58 BMW engine. And uh, BMW platform, I mean chassis and um, Nissan Z are quite different with the wheel length, so we had to fit uh, this engine to this exact um, chassis to make it work. So, for instance, uh, we have so many custom parts, uh, like it is the intake pipe, as I said, yeah, and uh, it has the banded form, and it was kind of painful to make it from the metal because it's the banded one. And we decided to make it from the 3D version, and this way we reduce the uh, weight and the production time for this exact component. So, um, for more, what do we have here uh, from the 3D in, uh, in the front end? Uh, that one part and uh, for the pump and uh, for the body kit actually. Uh, we have the aileron uh, for the body kit. And the uh, interior part we have uh, the mounts, actually a lot of mounts for uh, PDM, for ESU, for wiring and for a couple of pumps at the rear part. And uh, they work perfectly, they fit exactly uh, the part that we needed. And a couple of them were made with the JetSmart system. It means that we use uh, two rolls uh, to produce uh, in the 3D printing. Uh, so for instance, uh, if it's the complex material, uh, for one part we use uh, the one roll for the main part, yeah, and for the supportive mounts, for instance, we use the cheaper one or the instant one, and it works. Another thing to consider is the enclosed uh, build chamber. Uh, yeah, a lot of printers have the open one, but for our task, it's more like the downside. Look, the enclosed chamber uh, helps to maintain the same temperature throughout the print inside the chamber itself. So when we're producing like the thin parts, for instance, like here, like the delicate one, um, we'll reduce the risk of the cracking of uh, extra cooling, because uh, if it stays this way, for instance, yeah, uh, we have uh, one temperature uh, part of uh, at this level and uh, here we have the cooled one, so it's not the maintaining one. So uh, we need to have the same uh, level of the temperature uh, inside, the, inside the chamber yeah, to um, make these uh, components uh, in the correct way. Oh, and I almost forgot about uh, one point, it's the size. Uh, our printer has the uh, volume up to one meter and uh, plus the large glass platform. So it means we can make the tall structures like moldings or pipes, but also the small one in one batch. So for instance, we have the tunnel and hoses mounts and we just launched the process and got it all at once uh, without waiting extra time. As you see, we're not stopping here. Uh, soon we'll be making the new grill, uh, the new redesign of the ECU mount, they will create the moldings in our uh, new LS Pro Z and all of it uh, possible thanks to the Epitome. So if you don't want to waste extra resources making the test versions for your custom parts, uh, we consider just to get in the 3D printer. Our partners offer the uh, wide range of the machines for the different level, for different sizes, purposes, and you'll find out uh, the whole info that you wanna uh, in the link in the description below. To sum up the whole video, uh, when it comes to the manufacturing part, especially for the cars, uh, just few things really matter. 
First, it's the ability to print in a different quality and speed setting, uh, so to test the final components. Second, it's the support for specific uh, materials you're working with, the enclosed chamber for the uh, complex geometry, and of course, the built volume, because otherwise uh, you have to split it and uh, glue with the different models and uh, stick together, it's not convenient. So, we hope that this video helps you to understand the real value of the 3D printer uh, and its everyday automotive work is we're using it really often. So uh, for the large scale production, uh, you can check our link in the description and choose uh, that fits your needs. And we'll see you soon. See you there at FreshX.